is happening loud and proud crowd. We are actually in the Platy today, the 2017 F250. In today's video, I'm gonna kind of give you guys a breakdown as to the things that I do and don't like about this truck as it is compared to my 2019 Ram 3500 limited edition and kind of kind of why that is. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. We're going to be doing a video today on the new F250 Platinum, the 2017 that we brought to the channel. And I'm going to kind of basically go over the things that I do love about the truck and the things that I'm not so fond of about the truck. Give you kind of my perspective so that for anybody out there who's wondering about these trucks, they do buy newer trucks and they kind of want to know, hey, you know, what's what are the things you love about it? What are the things you don't like so much about it? Top features, drivability, stuff like that, quality and feel of the vehicle. And I'm gonna compare them since they do have a 2019 fifth gen Ram. Things about this truck that I like versus things about that truck that I like. Kind of go back and forth and give you my opinion. Keep in mind, it is just an opinion. We have a comment section down below. If you have opinions of your own, that is totally fine. Nobody says you have to agree with me and I don't say that you have to agree with me either. Take it for what it is. Top things I want to tell you I like about the truck in terms of the interior features, things that I love about the inside. First thing, the Apple CarPlay. It's something that I'm familiar with when it comes to the Dually. 2019 Limited, and it is very functional on here. The Dually is definitely a lot more crisp and clean looking and more responsive with the fifth gen Ram, and everything just around it is more, it's more glossy, shiny, refined looking, way more soft touch leather on the dash and on the door panels. There's a lot of plastic still in this truck comparatively, but I do like the system. It is usable. It does work. It's not like it has flaws and problems. It really is user friendly, and there's really not a whole lot to complain about it, especially when you do think about, you know, like most trucks people are coming from. This is definitely still an incredible upgrade, so I'm not going to complain there. My top features about the truck that I like. The top feature is definitely going to be adaptive cruise control. Now the Dually does have adaptive cruise control. Those of you who don't know what adaptive cruise control is, let's say I want to set my speed limit at 70 miles an hour, right? Basically the truck, if you're going down the highway, and you're going 70 miles an hour, if it comes up onto a vehicle that is going not 70 miles an hour, let's say they're going slower, the truck will automatically decelerate and match the speed of the vehicle in front of you. It's actually a really neat feature. I didn't think it was really that important of a feature until I had it for even an hour and I was just absolutely in love with it. So the truck, let's say you're going down the highway and a lot of traffic slows down, this truck will automatically slow you down to go with the speed of the traffic around you and it'll evenly space you out between the car in front of you and behind you so that you're not like way too close to the car in front of you or way too close to the you know car behind you. It keeps you nice and spaced out, which is actually really sweet because for the most part, you don't ever have to use your accelerator or your brake pedal when you're on the highway. Now, obviously, if you're slowing down to get off or you're actually needing to stop, stop, of course, you gotta stop. But for the most part, just leisurely crewing down the highway, the thing pretty much takes care of speed and managing it itself. Now, this truck does have tons of technology that I still have not yet figured out, but another one of the things that I love, which really doesn't have much to do with technology, more just like the evolution of luxury pickup trucks, this thing has massaging chairs yes driver and passenger front seats have massaging chairs i'm actually getting a massage right now so if you see me looking extremely relaxed that's because i am getting a back rub and a thigh and butt rub as we speak i know there's going to be some people that are like yo dude you guys have a sissy girl truck you don't need no seat massagers and cruise control that takes care of speed for you and braking and accelerating i get that it's you know it is what it is but if you're going to have a nice newer truck it's not something i'm going to complain about having for the money that's been spent to get the vehicle if you know what i'm saying if you spend the money you want as much as you can get for the money and they definitely deliver a lot of those things that just most pickups don't have well they're gonna have soon that are just really nice cool features even my mom got in the truck and she's like oh my goodness massaging seats are you kidding me she's like i don't even want my cadillac anymore i want to get a ford it's like actually really soothing now in terms of the gauge cluster in the truck and all the information there's turbo boost transmission temp and oil temp and pressures and this and that i mean there's just everything everything that you can think of they list it they have it down there behind the steering wheel it is all there everything you can think of, of monitoring
pressuring on the truck. It's there, tire pressure, I mean, just everything. Really usable, super easy to use, and just go through and flip through everything and figure out, you know, hey, is my transmission hot for some reason? Let me just check it real quick. Is, you know, what kind of boost pressure is my truck getting? In? Is it not having any boost? Is it having boost issues? You know, whatever, check your boost gauge, give it, give it, you know, some juice, and maybe it is having boost pressure. Issues. You don't know, but you can monitor that stuff factory without voiding any warranties or anything. Everything that you want to know is right there, and I definitely, definitely enjoy it and I had it all figured out within the first day and knew how to use everything so it's very again very user friendly pretty much anybody that can flip a switch and click OK can figure it out and that's that's something I like I like it to be modern but I don't like it to be complicated okay so let me show you how this adaptive cruise control bull crap work so I have it set at 75 and I'm just trying to make an example so I'm trying to speed up here to this truck what happens when you do get behind a vehicle that's in front of you. Let's say you're not paying attention. You're having an argument with the kid in the back seat. You know, you're getting up behind a truck like this. Well, look, my speed is backing itself way down so that I do not collide with the truck in front of me. We are all the way down to 65 miles per hour, 64, 63. And it's not letting me get up to that truck to hit. As soon as I hit my blinker, I go to the other lane. It's going to reset my cruise back up to where I had it, to the place I like it. So it's going to have it right back up to 75 miles an hour now that I'm not behind that truck. But a feature like that, given the distracted world that we live in, I mean, people are vlogging and driving, they're texting and driving. Being able to have a truck that will slow down so you don't get yourself into a pickle is actually kind of a handy feature. Now, it can get you into trouble relying on it constantly. It's definitely a cool thing to have because you never know if that one little feature could have kept you alive one more day out on the road. And just for that, I would pay the extra money to have that in any other vehicle. But in terms of the features, on the interior of the truck those are probably my top picks the interior like the leather quality is nice but I wouldn't say it's better than the Rams I'm not saying it's not nice but I wouldn't brag about it to say oh my goodness this is just like it's it's mind-boggling how luxurious the interior is like it's really nice but it's definitely not up to the ram standard we are now at Reagan and i shop our house and so now i'm going to go over the exterior things the things that i like most about the platinum pretty much most of these features that i like about the exterior of this truck are the same reasons why i bought this truck so let me let me get into those right now so one of the most important things to me about the platinum and why i got that truck was a i like the headlights not that you need to have a platinum you can get a lariat if you opt for those headlights but they're just kind of hard to find and you can get it with the king ranch but with a platinum them you're certain to get them and I like these headlights that's why they're a $3,500 option from the factory to get they're special they're cool they're a lot better than the halogens but of course now there's aftermarket stuff out there so you don't necessarily have to get these headlights and there's a lot of other options available I like the color match bumpers one of the biggest things as to why I wanted this I wanted the same color as the entire truck no two-tone no tan bumpers, tan, you know, two-tone like the King Ranches do pretty much with any color you get. They have a tan two-tone. I wanted the same color no matter what it was. It had didn't have to be black, but it had to be the same color. And that's what I wanted with the truck, and that's why I got the Platinum as well. There are lariats now that you can get that have like an all-black grill with, you know, same color um, bumpers and, and fenders. So now let's go into the interior of the truck here. And let me show you the main interior and compare it to... The limited why would i still go with a limited interior on a ram over even a platinum f-250 or super duty in general well in terms of wood grain this is all you get um, not that that's the most crucial thing of course to make different trims and different trucks and stuff depending on your style and taste but in terms of the platinum being a high trim level to compare it to the limited price point wise you can see it's nice but just a lot of just plastic 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 lots of plastic um, it's just not how do I put it it's really nice but after Ram came out with the limiteds they really just made the standard so much higher so then of course you've got the limited which by the way you can win this truck every five dollars spent on lnpgear.com whether you're buying hats t-shirts hoodies whole slew of new products no matter what it is every five dollars spent on gear is one automatic entry to win this truck. So for example, this hat is six entries to win this truck. This shirt, five entries to win this truck. So go check that stuff out. Link in the description below. It's as simple as grabbing an item or two, whatever you feel comfortable with, checking out, and you're automatically entered based on the email, name, phone number, and everything that you punch into your order. That automatically gets submitted into entries to win this truck. Anyhow, let's get into the truck and show you why I'd still prefer this truck 
over the Ford. So of course this truck, in terms of the color match bumpers and all that stuff, same reason I bought this truck. I wanted to color match. I wanted the upgraded headlights because you can't really get those um, aftermarket right now. There's just not really an option. There might be more coming available at the time, you know, now, but six, seven months ago, this was like, if you wanted nice headlights, you had to order them with nice headlights unless you know how to custom build all that stuff, which I did not at the time, still don't. So we're gonna go into the truck here. self deploying steps, just like the Platinum over there. But as soon as you get into the truck, it's just like instantly a huge upgrade. I mean, this is all soft touch leather. See what I'm saying? This is all soft touch. This is all soft touch, the entire door panel down. All of this is soft leather, soft leather, soft leather soft leather, wood grain, wood grain. I mean, all this stuff. This is all like a glossy, smooth, clean finish with the screen. All the buttons are glossy and clean and like refined looking. Everything just looks premium and luxury. Like it just screams luxurious. You see what I'm saying? Even the way that it lights up like that. I mean, it's just, everything is just super, super luxury and you just can't get enough of this truck. And that's why like once I got the Platinum, I'm like, Oh my goodness, like as nice as that truck is, Ram just made the standard so high. It's like once you come out of one of these trucks, it's hard to compare it to one of those and try to say that that truck's better than this. Like it just, you just I just can't get myself to say it. You know what I'm saying? Um, the leather, it just feels tougher. It feels softer. It feels more plush. Maybe that's just me. But you know, having sat in both the trucks, driven both the trucks, Owning both the trucks, I can definitely say, I feel like this one is definitely a higher quality in terms of all of these aspects, in terms of the interior, the steering wheel, the finish, the wood grain, even like the little little things, like the wood grain throughout here, and the little light shining down to kind of see your switches and stuff down here in the dark. I mean, it's just really refined and just super nice. It's so hard to beat the Ram, it just really is. And I think all the competition out there is really hustling to try to up their game as fast as they can. What are some things that I like about the Ford that I don't like about the Ram? Well, in terms of the Ford, honestly, the only thing that I can really say I like more than the Ram is massaging seats. But that's not even like a really important truck feature, so I can't really say that, you know, oh my goodness, I wouldn't buy this truck because it does have massaging seats. It's like, I'd still rather buy this truck because of everything else that it has. In terms of ride quality, the truck does ride really, really nice. This truck, for being a huge dually, I would say rides just as good. Very, very similar. In terms of the paint match everything, I like them both. They're both pretty much the same in terms of the paint match. That's what I like, that's my style, I think it's cool. In terms of interior, I like the leather more in the Ram. I do like the leather in the Ford as well. It's not crappy leather by any means, it's really nice. For the Ram, I'll give you a 10 out of 10 since it's like the new standard. For the Ford, for what I paid for it, I would give it a 10 out of 10. But if I were to pay, you know, the full 78,000 if that truck was brand new right now, for what you would get in a 2019, if you went to a lot right now and bought it for 78 grand, new Platinum Edition Ford, I'd probably have to rate the interior like a seven out of 10 if you're comparing it to the standard of something like this. Okay, so price range wise, you'd be in about the same whether you go with this truck or that truck. I'd have to rate the Ford a little bit lower just because it's, it's super nice, it's super plush, but you just can't beat the interior on this truck. In terms of drivability, comfort, acceleration, all that stuff, honestly, this truck's a little bit sluggish just because it's a huge dually. It's not, you know, a single rear wheel that's got a lot lower gear ratio. In terms of power, comparatively, I would say, this truck has more power, I think it's fair to say, but in terms of like get up and go, obviously the F-250 is not really like a, like a fair battle because things probably got a way lighter rear end since it's a 250, it's not a big dually that's like specifically to haul 30,000 plus pounds. So it's, I don't think that's really a fair comparison. That's just me. Let's just rate them even in that category in terms of drivability and get up and go just because it just really wouldn't be fair to compare one to the other and say that that one's less capable or this one's less capable or, you know, ex exceptional because of one or the other because they're just two different trucks built a little bit different for different uses. For the most part, that's pretty much all I really wanted to do with you guys today is kind of show you like the difference between this truck and that truck because I had a lot of people asking me in my DMs and Snapchat and all that stuff. They're saying, hey dude, do a comparison. I wanna see the difference between that truck and that truck and why you would buy one over the other. It's an opportunity that I have right now, so I thought might as well do it. Which one would I buy more? I'd still buy the Ram before I'd buy another Platinum. For what you're gonna pay, I'm saying new off the lot. Me personally, I feel like you get a lot more with this truck, but again, it's my opinion. My opinion is just my opinion. It's not your opinion. Thank you so much. Do not forget to enter to win this 
truck. I mean, I mean, after all that hype and all that talking it up, you guys gotta want to have this thing in your driveway. So every five dollars, one entry to win. Information is in the description below. Go check it out. Doesn't hurt. If you don't like anything on the store, no hard feelings. It just is what it is. We try to produce as much as we can in a lot of different styles and tastes to try to fit what people like, so they can buy something they like, not just a bunch of overpriced bull crap that is all the same exact thing that nobody wants, and they're only buying it for entries. We try to produce something that people actually want to wear, and they can be proud to wear and have in their wardrobe and put on day to day, and that's what we try to produce for you guys. Anyways, thank you so much. Information in the description below. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the thumbs up button. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah.